The Treasury bond market remains kind of at the edge here, waiting for some kind of catalyst moment to move. Uh, Ten-year yields are basically at the midpoint of the almost year-to-date range. Since January 4th, the market has seen a range of 260 to 280, uh, and the market is right now hovering right around 270 in yield speak. And if you last time we traded north of 280, well, you're going to have to go back to the December FOMC meeting day. That was the last time when things sort of took a turn to the dovish from the Fed's point of view. Likewise, the last time we were trading below 260 was the first uh, couple days of the year, and it was very brief, and the market spent, you know, about two minutes down there and then, you know, traded back up into the range that we're in. So right now, 260 to 280, well-defined range in 10-year note yield, uh, and something we haven't really seen a, a, a threat of breaking out of, at least not in the last couple of weeks, and we are sitting basically right at the midpoint. Uh, so market needs to see some kind of, there needs to be some catalyst, some sort of a reason for us to get outside of that range. And right up till this point, at least since January 4th, we haven't had it. We've had some runs to it, but haven't been able to hold it. And if you can guess, market volatility starting to go back down after a brief uptick we saw. And 10-year and volatility right now telling you there is no fear priced into the market, at least not over, <clears throat> certainly over the next several weeks. Uh, I think that right now, you know, with the events that are coming up down the road, that may change. But it, we need to see a break. Typically, what we've seen here, I guess, over the last several months, as yields go up, volatility goes down. That takes us back into the old range. As yields go down, volatility tends to go up as we look to break out of that old range, or at least current range. And right now, that seems to be the case as well. But we haven't seen a breakout, like I said, uh, in well over a month. So right now, the market getting very comfortable, hovering right around that 270 yield where we sit. And what are some of the things that could get us outside of that range? Well, you know, you're going to hear about talks with China. You're going to hear about deal trade deals with China. China will they go through? Uh, you know, right now it seems the U.S. may have some upper hand in those trade talks, and the president may use that. But up to this point. Uh, it seems to me that the market is not as concerned uh, with no deal going through, or at least the ramifications of a no deal. Likewise, the government shutdown looming that could come if there's no deal with the border. That seems to be put aside. You saw today equities started to rally. That certainly is part of that. And I think that that's going to keep Treasury yields from going lower, at least at this point. But the bigger picture stuff, the Fed. Well, we heard from the Fed, you know, not too long ago that they wanted to raise rates four times this year to now possibly not raising at all. And you're starting to get that sense that the Fed really is waiting for something to happen. And wh whether it's something economical here, is it inflation, is it growth, or could it possibly be something outside of our borders like the UK and the EU uh, Brexit that's going to be coming up before too long uh, on March 29th. So those are the things that the market's watching. And right now, I think the direction that the market will go will be led by policy, at least from the Fed and from Brexit. I don't think so much the, the day trades will be looking at the at the China trade talks, will be looking at government shutdown issues. But really, the macro trade is going to come on Brexit. The, the ripple effects of a hard Brexit or potentially a softer landing Brexit, uh, how they will affect U.S. financial systems, the, the U.S. markets, and how they will affect what's happening here, because they will have some impact. Uh, the Fed has already warned us of that, and that will be something that we'll continue to keep on the radar. But for right now, market's very comfortably sitting in the middle of the range since January 4th. It's going to take a catalyst moon. I don't think tomorrow's uh, inflation numbers or Thursday's inflation numbers or Friday's retail sales is going to be enough to really push this market unless they're way off the charts. I think it's going to have to come from something bigger via central bank or via some kind of uh, some kind of deal or some kind of no deal with, uh, with the UK and the European Union. But again, that's a little ways down the road for March 29th, but the market will be watching.